Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSqueams here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at the Demo to Proto Raider. It is on Steam's green light section right now. You guys can go and vote to get it on Steam. And it's a fun little game. It's like a bunch of little puzzle mini game per level, and you continue on, and eventually, I suppose you can eventually beat the game. I'm not that great at the game, but I'm not that bad. I do okay. We'll see how foolish I make myself look by the end of it. So we're going to go here to map and get started right away. It is by Puzzle Lab and Audrey Fomin, or Fomin, I believe it is. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So you, you start off as a guy in the bottom left corner, this little dude down here, all decked out with his little orange head and his little hashtag sign in the middle there. He's ready, he's eager, he's going to jump his way over here to the welcome without the M. And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. So if you guys liked ASCII-style art well here you go here you go all right we're gonna start and we're gonna jump our way oh lettering on an ancient tablet all ye who enter here reward will come in gold or death it will smite you with its deadly spear Eh, it is what it is all right so we're gonna continue on all these little bats are gonna fly away and we did it we're heroes that was really difficult wasn't it i know i myself am a little concerned that that was a little bit too challenging either way we're gonna continue on here so now we have to think of this Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to run. We have the ability to jump. If we jump, we'll hopefully avoid falling in the water. And then if we hit the other side, if there's something over here to hit, it'll bounce us back the other way. And that's pretty much how the game plays out throughout everything. So, going to apparently do something there. It told me something, but I skipped it because I hit spacebar to jump. And simple and easy. And there it is. So, we're going to go to the next. And this one looks a little bit more complicated, doesn't it? Alright, so we have to get the key. So this is the key. We want to get all the money we can. So basically what we want to do is come here, jump up, grab this one. Get the key, jump down here, land here, grab this, jump over, grab this, jump up here, and then exit. That's going to be the plan, the hope, the goal, the dream. Let's see if we can actually make it a reality. Okay, first take the key, then go to the door. Okay, and we've made the jump, made the jump, and easy, easy, easy. And there you go. Next up, what kind of horrible, horrible travesty against nature is this one going to be? Alright, so this is where we're going to start changing directions, so we have to plot out our course. So if I had to say what course would be best, it would be to run over here, bounce off this, jump up, climb up here, follow this down, jump over to this, bounce off of this, jump, get the key, fall down the hole, and then jump, get that, and leave. So that's going to be the plan. Let's see if we can actually make it a reality. The jump, always run straight, but vary the directions. All right, so there we go, and up, and we come all the way down here, and we're jumping. We're there, we're jumping again, we've got the key, fall down the hole, and... It's like we're, oh no, I didn't see the torches, I didn't see the fire, and there we go. Just like that, the simplest, easiest of things, you can make your life miserable. So we'll give it another shot. At least we know now that we have to jump over the burning torches. And we'll come on down this way, and over, and bounce it up, and back down, and leap over the fire. It is detrimental to your health if you do not, and it looks like victory is ours. I'll probably play through two or three more, guys. You'll have a pretty good understanding of what the game's all about, and you'll be able to make a decision as to whether or not you want to get it, support it on Steam's Greenlight, or just wait till it comes out on Steam and get it then. Okay. It looks like there is stuff falling from the top of the world. And we have to be able to make our jumps through without getting hit by that stuff. So, we're going to go for it right now. And apparently we got defeated immediately. We made the wrong choice. We're going to make the jump. We're going to hope that we've timed this right. And indeed we did. We got through it this time. So that was kind of a... Eh, I don't know. I didn't really like that one because, you know, you can sit there and wait 10 minutes and see what the exact pattern is. Or you can go and then you can still get unlucky and something would fall. So wasn't a big fan of that one in particular. Okay, so we're going to be able to go here. We'll be able to use the waterfall to jump up and stay on the high ground. We'll be able to come over here, grab this, come down here, hit that, fall back this way, jump over, over, and over. I think that's what's going to happen. We'll see if I'm right. Don't be afraid of the waterfall. Use it. 
I plan to. And there we go. We are up. We are home free. And we are bouncing our way to victory right now, folks. And there it is. And victory! So I'll do one more, guys, and then you'll kind of have the idea. I don't want to spoil the whole game. I don't want to play through the entire thing, or the whole demo, and then you guys are like, Well, what's left? You showed us everything. I want to have some enjoyment, too. And then you guys will be all sad and angry at me. So it's going to be one of our more, well, extremely short first look videos, but it should give you an idea. Maybe I'll do another two. How about that? All right, let's take a look here. We want to jump and grab that one. And then we want to come over here, jump this, bounce off of this, climb up here, jump here, jump over here, climb up this, grab that, bounce off this, jump up to here, grab this, jump off, and follow through all the way to the base. All right, let's see if I can remember all that. Okay, first and foremost, we grab that. Then we make our jump. So you basically play this game with one hand, guys, one key. You only hit the space bar, really. So it is simply what it is. Somewhat simplistic in theory, but eh, I can see it getting a little bit more challenging as time progresses. Oh, I made it, I failed. It's okay, we can do it again, guys. I wasn't able to make the jump, but we'll be able to get it this time. Or so I think, we'll see. At least we're able to redo it, right? There it is, now we nailed it. There we go, the missed jump from before has been rectified and victory is ours. Alright, we'll do one more. See, that was almost almost messy, almost nasty. Alright, now this one... We need to jump here, grab the scuba gear, which will allow us to breathe underwater, and then we'll be able to kind of swim over here. We'll grab this, we'll jump off that, we'll bounce up here, we'll grab this, we'll grab that, we'll bounce over this way. We'll jump here, we'll bounce this way, we'll fall back into the water. We'll swim this way, we'll jump up, we'll grab that, and we'll be done. So, let's see if I can do all that. Okay, we're going to jump, we're going to fall into the water. We're in, in the water with the scuba gear. We're going to swim our way to victory here. We're going to bounce, we're going to climb, we're going to jump, we're going to grab that. We're going to jump over here, bounce, fall back into the water. Of course, swim our way one more time to victory. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. And as you guys see... Victory is ours, and we are done. So, that's pretty much going to do it for this first look, guys. I know it's one of the shorter ones, only about eight or nine minutes in, but the levels are pretty quick, and, well, we've done, well, a surprisingly huge amount of levels already, eight of them. So, that's pretty much Proto Raider in a nutshell. I'll have all the pertinent information down below and where you can find the game, where you can pick it up. Uh, if you want to vote for it on Steam's Greenlight, that's going to be available. All that wonderful, fun stuff I always include in all my first look videos and, well, pretty much all of my videos will be down below in the description. If you liked this, go ahead and support it. If you liked the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And uh, that's going to do it for this first look. I'll be back probably tomorrow with another first look. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.